hull vane is a fixed foil located below the stern of a ship. It reduces the fuel consumption by optimizing the flow around the aft body of the vessel. We recently did some full-scale trials on a 55-meter supply vessel and the results we obtained match exactly what we had calculated. The savings in fuel of, say, between 12 and 14 percent. The hull vane is the most effective for ships with a moderate speed. Uh, in terms of a fruit number, which we naval architects like to use, uh, we're talking about uh, speeds above about 0.2. Ships that belong to that category are supply vessels, uh, ferries, container vessels, uh, naval vessels and the somewhat faster merchant ships. The hull vane is equally suitable for existing ships and new vessels. For new vessels you have the advantage that the propulsion power can be reduced which in itself is a cost saving which offsets the investment for the hull vane. But for the installation of the hull vane there is not really a difference. We have even installed the hull vane onto a ship while it was in the water without uh, having to dry dock. The, the principle of the hull vane is quite complicated. We found um, uh, four effects. The first one, which is the most important, is the thrust force that is being produced by the wing in that location. Uh, the thrust force is produced because in that location on ships, the flow is not horizontal. The flow is in fact flowing aft, but also upwards. And any lift on any, any wing positioned in uh, a flow of that nature does not produce uh, a lift force vertically upwards, but produces a lift force that is upwards and directed forwards. The second part, which we found, um, not initially, but after quite a lot of work, was that the formation of waves uh, near the stern of the vessel is totally different. So the top surface of the hull vane is a low pressure region, and the low pressure region sucks down any high wave that is in that location. So the vessel has less wave resistance, that's what we call this type of resistance. The third effect produced by the hull vane is associated with the vertical force. Uh, the vertical force on the hull vane reduces the running trim of the vessel. The running trim is the trim uh, which happens when uh, at higher speeds the bow comes up and the stern goes down. That is unfavorable uh, for the drag of the vessel, the drag increases because of that. Fourth effect manifests itself in waves. So as soon as the ship is running in waves, there is uh, what we call pitch motion, which is uh, this type of motion, and there is a heave motion where the vessel goes up and down. And the wing dampens that motion. And because the motions are dampened, there is also less uh, resistance or less drag, because pitch motions cause a lot of extra resistance. There are no moving parts on the hull vane, and therefore no maintenance costs. The hull vane is a capital investment which will provide predictable returns for the rest of the lifetime of the vessel.